Okay, in this video, I will be covering the TMCA Middle School Number Sense Regional Test for March 5th, 2022. And this one is part two. And I'll put a link for part one in the description. So part two is going to be the second column, and that's going to be problems from 22 up to 42. Second column, first column was part one. So in this test, it's all problems are to be solved mentally. And we have integral answers for the approximations, start problems. And so I'll be working these step by step in detail. And I will write some on the margin. You are not allowed to write on the margin. You're only write, allowed to write the exact answer in the answer blank. Okay, so we start with number 22. Two gallons plus two quarts equals how many fluid ounces? You should know that one quart is 32 ounces and one gallon is 128 ounces. We want the answer in ounces. So if I add 128 plus 32, that's 160, but I have two gallons and two quarts, so 160 times two would be 320. Basically what I'm doing is I factor out a two and I find out what one gallon and one quart is, which is 160, and then multiply by two. Number 23, is a shortcut when you have x squared and then you have 3x quantity squared that's really 10x squared so i'm going to take this number here 16 squared 256 and multiply by 10. and that's a cool little shortcut for that number 24 what is the lcm of 14 28 and 56. well these are all multiples of 14. This is 14 times 2, this is 14 times 4, and so the LCM is going to be 56, since they all go into 56. So for this one, it's just 56. Number 25, 9 and 2 fifths times 9 and 3 fifths. On this one, you have your fraction parts add up to 1, and then your numbers 9 and 9 is the same number. So there's a special shortcut for number 25. What you're going to do is you're going to multiply 2 fifths times 3 fifths. That's 6 over 25. And then you bump one of these by 1. Make that a 10. 9 times 10 is 90. So the answer there is 90 and 6 over 25. Okay, problem number 26. 39, 39, 39. Repeating 39s. Since it's repeating in two digits, you would write that as 39 over 99, but you have to reduce by three, since three goes into 39 13 times, and three goes into 99 33 times. So the correct answer there should be 13 over 33. Number 27, 15 times one and four fifths. You can change one and four fifths to nine over five, and then you take 5 into 15, that's 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Number 28. The sum of the prime numbers between 90 and 90, 90 and 100. Well, there's only one prime number in the 90s, and that's 97. So the sum of those would just be 97. 91 is not a prime number because that's 7 times 13. 93 is 31 times 3, 95 is 19 times 5, and of course 99 is 33 times 3, and the even numbers are not prime. So 97 is the only prime number, and so it's very handy to know that. For number 29, we want to change a number in base 6 to base 10. And so on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply and then add and then multiply, and then add. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 3 is 15, 15 times 6 is 90, plus the 4 is 94. So just to review that, I'm going to say, okay, you're going to multiply. I'm going to write down the steps for you. And maybe this is a new way. So I'll multiply 2 times 6. And then I'm going to add 3. And that answer times 6. And then I'm going to add 4. And that's how you get the answer. 
2 times 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15, and then multiply it back times the base, 15 times 6 is 90, plus 4. So you multiply, add, multiply, add. So that's what you have to do when you see three digits, multiply, add, multiply, add. And that's exactly what we did there. If you like these shortcuts, don't forget to hit the like button for this video. This helps me out as I'm producing more and more videos. Also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when we create new videos. Okay, number 30 is an approximation and you're gonna have 32 times 28 plus 67 times 73. Well, what I would do in this problem, I would say 30 times 30, that's pretty close to 900 if I round off. And 70 times 70, that's pretty close to 4,900. And then all you have to do is add 4,900 plus 900, that would be 5,800. So I'll just write 5,800. And that's pretty close for an approximation. Number 31 is asking for 15 cubed. If you haven't memorized your cubes, well, 15 cubed is 225 times 15, which is, turns out to be a really long problem. Uh, if you memorize it, you know it's 3375. Now, if you haven't memorized 15 cubed, you could think of 1.5 cubed. And 1.5 is 3 halves. So if you think of 3 halves cubed, that would be 27 over 8. 27 divided by 8 is 3 and 3, 3 eighths. So how do you write 3 and 3 eighths? 3, 3 eighths is 375. So there's your 3 and there's your 375. So that's one way to work this out if you had to. But I would suggest you memorize your cubes, at least the first 15 cubes. Number 32. If the area of a square is 529, there's a perfect square. You should recognize that. That's 23 squared. So each side is 23. Then what is the perimeter? There's four sides, four equal sides in a square, so four times 23. That means that the perimeter is 92 centimeters. For number 33, the slope of the line 9x minus 3y equals 5 is what? So we're looking for slope. The slope is going to be negative a over b. Negative 9 over negative 3 is 3. Of course, you could move the 3y to this side, and you have 3y uh, plus 5 divided by 3 on both sides. You get 9 over 3. The answer is 3. So the slope is 3 here. So if you want a little formula for slope, when it's in standard form, just take negative a over b. So in this case, I did negative 9 over negative 3. Negatives cancel out, and you get positive 3. Number 34. The measure of each interior angle of a decagon. Decagon means 10 sides. I know that the sum of the exterior angles is 360. For the exterior angles is 360, that means that each angle is, each exterior angle is 36. Each exterior angle and each interior add up to 180. So all I have to do is take 180 minus 36 and I get 144. And that is the measure of each interior angle. Each interior angle is 144. Each exterior angle is 36. 144 plus 36, they add up to 180. Number 35. 27 squared minus 33 squared. That's difference of squares. So here you do, uh, you're going to get a negative, And you're going to take 27 minus 33 is a negative 6. And 27 plus 33 is 60. So 6 times 60 is 360. Number 36. 13x plus 8 quantity squared is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And they want the sum of the coefficients. a plus b plus c. I mean, the long way would be to take 13 squared and then twice the product of the 2 and then 8 squared. And that's really too long. All you have to do is add 13 plus 8 which is 21, and then you square that. And 21 squared, I think you already know that the answer with that is 441. All I'm doing is 13 plus 8, 21, square that, and that gives you the sum of the coefficients. Number 37, multiplying by 111. 
So in this one, I'm going to take the last digit, which is a 4. 4 times 1 is 4. Then I'm going to add 8 plus 4 is 12 and carry a 1. Now I'm going to add all 3 plus the 1. So I'm going to have 2 plus 8 plus 4. That's 14 plus the 1. That's 15. And carry a 1. Now I do the first 2. 2 plus 8 is 10 plus the 1 is 11. Right, carry a 1. So then I take the first digit, 2 plus the 1 that I carried is 3. So the answer here is 31,524. Absolute value, 12 minus 5 absolute value is 7. 8 minus 15 is negative 7, absolute value is 7. 7 plus 7 plus 7, 7 times 3 is 21. Number 39, if the area of a circle is 144 pi, that's pi r squared, that tells you that the radius is 12, okay? The circumference is 2 pi r, so 2 times that, 2 times 12 is 24, so it'd be 24 pi. So just write 24 for number 39. Number 40, 83,572 divided by 166 as an approximation. Well, think here, 166 is pretty close to one and two thirds, or let's say if we divide by five thirds, and I'm gonna round this off to 85,000. 85 divided by five is 17. 17 times three is 51. So that's about 5,100. Actually, it's more like 510. So, could be 500 or 510, it's an approximation. And so the answer should be about 500 or 510 for this one. Now you know if this is 100 and you knock off two digits, you're gonna have a three digit answer. So if this was 100, you would knock off two digits. So that tells you that your answer has to have three digits, less than 800, of course, because I'm dividing by more than 100, but I, you, the answer cannot be 5100. So you can always check that way quickly and check, okay, my digits are 5100, not 5100, but 510. 510 was the correct answer. And uh, we've got two more here. Number 41, 214 times 13. I would multiply 13 times four is 52, carry a five, 13 times one is 13, plus five is 18, write an eight, carry a one. 13 times two is 26, plus the one that we carried is 27. 2782 is the correct answer. And number 42, the last one in this column, 75 squared is 75 times 75. So anytime you have something like this, I think you already know, multiply five times five, you write 25, bump this by one, seven times eight is 56. So your answer is 5,000. 625. And this concludes part two uh, for the TMSCA middle school number since regional test for 2022. Now make sure you hit the like button and uh, go ahead and share this with your friends, your teammates. They'll improve your team. Share the video with your teachers. Teachers share the video with your students. And so we need to get more people on this uh, the Number Sense YouTube channel so we can grow the channel and I'll have more, more of these for you. If you like this, leave a comment. Let me know what school you're from. Uh, leave the name of the mascot so I'll know who's watching these videos. And uh, that's going to be it for now. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you.